on today's From the Headlines. I have not commented about this before, but I was looking for news articles yesterday to talk about the show today, and this article popped up about the Australian soccer team with five transgender players goes undefeated in women's tournaments. And there was a quote, there's a huge difference in ability. My quote would be, no shit, Sherlock. Here's the thing. When I was in prison, okay, when I was in prison, we had at Fort Worth, we had transgender people on the compound. We did. All right. Now, there was a small demographic of prison inmates that would disparage those individuals. We had a doctor. He was in his 70s. He had committed Medicare fraud. He was serving like a 17-year prison sentence. And what? Once he gets in, he decides at that point he wants to be a woman. Once he gets in, all right? And he was going through the transition. Now, when when you do a transition in prison, you don't get the surgery. You don't. You get the shots. So, yes, you keep your junk. (laughs) But then you start to look more female through today. So we had him. We had another person. I forgot. uh, He was in on meth. And um, he had been transitioning before he got locked up. And then we had a porn star. And he slash she had the boobs, blonde, had the uh, had had the facial reconstruction surgery to look more like a female, but had not been operated down below. Because I guess in porn that you want to keep your junk because you get paid more if you're that type of transgender. So this guy was doing this. And then one of the stories on that, this guy was in the TV room one day. And um, I forgot what the hell it was, but uh, he screams out, you want to see my tits? And of course, we all went. Yes! (laughs) Yes! <laughs> Most of the inmates on that compound, we treated each other with respect. All right. Now, the, the staff did not feel that way toward the transgender. They were like, what the fuck? And there were a few inmates that were like, what the fuck, too. OK, but we knew we knew at the end of the day, hey, that ain't a woman. That is a man. And we were OK with that. We would call. We would say her. We would whatever their preferred name was that we would do that. We didn't really give a shit. OK, you want to be called Debbie? You're Debbie. I don't give a fuck. You do. You Behind the fence, you can be whoever you want to be. It's your story. You tell it. And we respect that. All right. One of the weird things that you that you used to see is walking the track. You'd get these transgenders out there and they would take their 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 your issued uh, khaki pants. They would take their damn khaki pants and they would cut them off into Daisy Dukes. <laughs> and then they'd pull them as high as they could and they'd walk the track with their ass cheeks hanging out. Now, you would know, you would know who was fucked up on the compound by who was following that transgender <laughs> as they walked the track. And lo and behold, it was always, it was always a bunch of the Latinos. That were following with their tongues hanging out like, hey, yeah, you see, yeah, man. Yeah, that's what you'd see all the fucking time. Now, the reason I'm saying that, we're talking about, you know, I, I got out and I've always been a respectful person. I have. Um, I, I, if you want to be referred to as a specific pronoun, as long as it's not that they and them bullshit, I'll do that. There is no they and them. That's plural that's multiple people okay but uh, as long as it's not that I'll, I'll, I'll do that with you okay because it's respectful it doesn't hurt me to refer to you as you would like to be referred to it's, it's only a second to do that i don't mind doing that that's fine okay don't ask me don't ask me to believe that you are the same As someone who's born a male or someone who's born a female, you're not. You're not. I'm sorry. It's 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 think of it like that movie, The Crying Game, except when you show somebody that you're not really a male or female, they're not going to sit there all heartbroken. They're probably going to kill your ass if you've not told them before. Let's go out on a date. You want to come to my place? Why, sure, I'd love to come to your place. Am I going to get some action? Oh, you're going to get all kinds of action. What'd you say your name was again? My name is Lola. You ever heard that kink song? Lola. Lola. I I think I've heard about it. What's it about? Oh, it's about love. It's about (laughs) deep, dark, hard love. You're going to have some fun tonight. Oh, I'd love that. Let's go to your place tonight. So he gets his place. Lola takes off Lola's clothes. Meanwhile, the guy's looking like, Lola, what's that hanging down? That's my love for you. Lola, that's the biggest clit I've ever seen. That ain't a clit, big boy. Get over here. Ah!
That's what happens. That's the guy's voice. <laughs> That's the guy's voice because, hey, I'm equal opportunity. Now, we're talking about sports. And I mentioned this before we started to record. We got that swimmer. We got that swimmer who evidently lost every fucking swimming competition that he was in until he decides he wants to be a she. Then he transfers over to the women's team and he wins every fucking swimming competition that she is in. We got the Australian soccer team. Evidently, they beat the ever loving dog shit out of the other soccer team that was composed of all CIS women. See, I know the terminology. I do. (laughs) One of the things that you don't see, you don't see, you don't see any females wanting to step into the ring with Mike Tyson. You don't see calls for LeBron James to head over to the WNBA where he can score 8,000 points in one quarter. You don't see that. Why? The why is because there is a fucking difference. That's why. Now, we can be human beings. We can treat each other with respect. But going back to what I was bitch moaning and complaining about, we cannot let the radicals run things. Because when you get the radicals running things, you get situations like this, where all of a sudden you've got female sports that are all fucked up because there's an unfair advantage with many of the males that are now identifying as females coming into that environment. Absolutely. It's fucked up. It's more fucked up than NIL.